know people on the internet, so your girl Sizzly, your local Star Wars fan and nerd, has three Star Wars Black Series figures to unbox. And I have collected these throughout a certain amount of time, and they were all pretty good deals. Like, they're not new figures, and I got them for pretty cheap. There's this one, which is fairly new, but I also got a really good deal on it. I loved Lando in the newest Star Wars movie, Solo, a Star Wars story. I loved him so much. He's, like, such a great character, and Donald Glover plays him perfectly, in my opinion, so I have a Han, a young Han figure, so this was absolutely necessary. And the fun thing about Star Wars collector figures is that they usually don't decrease in value that much, so, you know, even if I end up going broke, maybe I can sell my Star Wars figures and then not be broke anymore. <laughs> Let's quit it with the excuses and start with Finn from The Force Awakens. I love The Force Awakens. There are people who like the sequels, there are people who hate the sequels. I am not like a biggest fan of the sequels, like my favorite trilogy is the original trilogy, but I love Rey and I love Finn and I love their friendship. Ooh, I think I still need to untape this. And for those of you asking, Sizzly, why wouldn't you use scissors? Won't that be more simple? Where's the fun in that? I could use scissors to neatly cut open all the foil and all the plastic and the tape, but where's the fun in that? The fun in unboxing or unwrapping any present or whatever is essentially the fact that you get to rip into it with your own two hands. I think that's a part of the experience. Look at the boy. He is an incredible boy. Finn is such a whole character and he doesn't get enough credit for how cool he is. And John Bo Boyega is the sweetest man alive from what I've seen in interviews and stuff like that. Ooh, look at that big gun. His joints are pretty loose on the legs. But I love how detailed and articulated these figures are. Oh, he is wonderful. Like this gun, I love how it, the color li literally matches uh, his jacket. <laughs> Fashion icon Finn. He is so cool. Look at him. I love him. He's gonna go great with my Ray. Look at these two peanuts. Look at them. Ah, oh, they're so cute. I can't wait to put them together on the shelf. Make them hold hands or something cute like that. Yeah, I'm really happy. I love the facial sculpt. I love how it looks like John Boyega. It looks like Finn. Is it supposed to be like that? Like, is, are his ankles supposed to be like that? I'm really curious, but I'm really, really excited about this. He is so cool. So my Ray didn't come with a lightsaber, but I have a budget Ray that did come with a lightsaber, so I want to give Finn a lightsaber. Will it fit in this hand? Because this is the trigger finger hand. I don't know. Let's try it. It's proving to be really difficult. However, if I just squeeze it in there gently, maybe we can fit. Ooh, I think it worked. Yeet. Oh my god, I don't think I can do like, no, he doesn't have butterfly joints. Maybe I can, you know, like that iconic shot from The Force Awakens where he's holding the lightsaber before Rey's final battle with Kylo. Good enough. I love it. I love the idea of Force-sensitive Finn and I love the idea of Force-sensitive Han Solo. I just love the idea of the Force in general and I want every one of my favorite characters to be Force-sensitive. Yeah, you can tell that I really, I'm really invested in Star Wars and theories and all the fan stuff. Finn looks so much cooler cooler with that lightsaber than with any size gun. Like, this is neat, but lightsaber, like Obi-Wan said, it's a more, uh, what is the quote? It, it's less clumsy and random than a blaster, and it's, yeah, it's more elegant, that's what he said. It definitely looks more elegant. I, I just love lightsabers and everything about the Jedi. Anyway, we have two more things to open. Unboxing videos are just, you know, they're a big thing, and they're so fun to watch, especially when it comes to your favorite thing. My favorite thing right now happens to be Star Wars. Why is it, what is in there? Oh, I thought there was something else in there because the box was heavier. Look at that bad boy! Ooh, I love the cloth. His lightsaber is so bent. I'm so sorry, sweetie. I see a lot of discourse in the fandom about how Kylo Ren is like, not a villain and misunderstand, blah, blah, blah. Like, maybe he is, but also, like, he is a... He killed his own father, so... Mm, pretty sure that counts as being the villain. That's that on that. That's the thesis. But, yeah. What is wrong with your hands, we? He is majestic. Wow, now that's a villain. Like, I love Kylo Ren's design. 
so much. Like he has such a cool design, especially in the Force Awakens. Like in the Last Jedi with the whole, you know, like when he trashed his helmet, I kind of felt sad because I get that the idea was to humanize him or whatever, but that's kind of the point that like I don't want to feel sorry for him. I want him to be big and bad and evil like he was, but also there were hints of like, you know, like, hey, look, he's more than just like this uh, evil villain in a mask, like, yeah, he is human, but his joints, his hips are not, they're so, he's not gonna be able to stand, is he? Oh, actually, no, he stands, it's just, <laughs> the hips are just like, I don't know if you can hear that, but like, if you want a dancing kind of red, here you have it! <laughs> Like, he will look great on the shelves. It's just with the posing, I don't think it's gonna be that good. But yeah, I love him. I love how he looks. I love the, like these, I think they're called soft goods. I don't know all the action figure lingo or whatever, but these look amazing and they fall amazing and he looks so majestic and bad and big and evil and bad and evil. I love it. What if I just make him sit? Mm, no, not really. He's gonna have to stand and I'm gonna have to hope that he doesn't just fall off because of his loose hip joints. Kylo Ren has hip problems, everyone. Oh, by the way, his lightsaber is really badass. Like, I think everyone can agree that when they saw, you know, Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens for the first time, they were like, wow, now that's a villain. And then, you know, as things progressed, people had different opinions. But, oh boy, I love this. I could talk about Star Wars all day, honestly. If you want me to talk about Star Wars all day, I will. I definitely will. So Kylo Ren is incredible. I love that figure a lot. And then last but not least, the one and only, the iconic Lando Calrissian. I loved Solo. Once again, I don't know how many of you are into Star Wars and how many of you are enough into Star Wars that you were actually excited for Solo because, you know, a lot of hardcore fans were like, I'm not watching this because it's not Harrison Ford playing on Solo. Well, surprise, it was still good. And many people agree and share that sentiment. And I cannot wait for it to come out. Maybe by the time I post this, Solo will have come out on digital and I will have watched it endlessly forever. <laughs> Because that's what I want to do, like, almost every day I'm like, I wish I could just turn on Solo and watch it right now. I want to see it, I think, like, three times in the theater, so you can tell how much I loved it. And I would have wanted to see it more if my local theater didn't stop showing it after three weeks. I was so disappointed. I love Lando Silver, Silver, Silver Blaster. It's as classy as the man himself. I'm gonna break something, but nope. He is... You know what my favorite thing about this figure is? I knew that this was gonna be my favorite thing about it because it's just... I mean, look at how beautiful that yellow shirt is. And I love how the inside of the cape is. Wait for it. It's blue! I love the scarf too. Look at the scarf. This lad is so fancy. And I think that these new figures are way better quality. At least people have been saying that, that like the faces are better with the whole face printing technology. I don't know if you can see on this camera, but he looks like Donald Glover. And wait, let me bring the Han that I have. Look at these two. Like, they look fantastic. This is all I've ever wanted. Honestly, Han and Lando as action figures and with the face printing technology, I like being super accurate for Hasbro action figures. This is beautiful. I love them so much. Look at he. He's so pretty. I'm so pretty. And even when you take off the cape, he is still so cool and so majestic. I cannot stress enough how much I love this yellow shirt like i love bright colors me and lando share the love for yellow so i stand so yeah that's my figures for this time and i'm just really happy to own them like i said i could talk for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours about star wars so <laughs> if you want me to talk more about star wars or draw something related to star wars pretty much anything just let me know in the comments and i will gladly do that and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time i love you guys bye what?